Volcanoes are one of the most awesome spectacles of nature. So obviously we wanted to recreate here one in my kitchen. But there are actually three different types of volcanoes. The smallest and simplest kind are cinder cones. And then we have shield volcanoes, which are made of large sheets of lava that form from magmas that have very low gas content. Gas is a major constituent of magmas. Magmas are in many ways similar to sodas that you might drink at home. They're liquids that under pressure and temperature have a certain amount of gas associated with them. Some magmas have more gas, some have less, depending on their composition. Shield volcanoes, are, like in Hawaii, have very low gas, so they're very runny. You get large, broad areas of quiet eruptions. That's okay, but in this kitchen, we like the explosive kind. So what we've created is a composite volcano, and that's a volcano that erupts from magmas that have a lot of gas stored up in them, much like the soda. The soda's carbonated, and it has carbon dioxide actually in solution within the liquid. And we've used this, we've put this into our magma chamber, and what we want to do is cause all of that carbon dioxide to be released. In nature, what happens is as the magma rises near the surface, the pressure decreases until no longer can the gas stay in solution within the magma. This causes a release of gas, which causes a dramatic explosion that blows the top off the volcano. What we should see here is the gas, when released, obviously forms the, the uh, power behind the explosion. So let's pour our catalyst in here. Oh, we have eruption. Obviously this would be superheated, hot, pyroclastic flows, lava flows, all sorts of nasty things you wouldn't want to be in the way of. But when you have a mashed potato volcano, can't go wrong. One of the most classic experiments in geology is the baking soda volcano. Everybody might have done this at some point in the past. You take baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, which is a base material, and you combine it with vinegar, which is an organic acid. And what happens is the two chemicals interact and release carbon dioxide, which forms a foam that expands and erupts. This is not a one-to-one -one analog with nature, because in nature when magmas rise, pressures decrease, and gas comes out of the solution because of a decrease in pressure. In this case, we're causing a chemical reaction to create the eruption. Though there are chemical reactions in magmas, because different types of magmas contain different elements, and that also plays a factor. So let's do this. Here we've got a beaker filled with baking soda, and I've got a, uh, a vinegar solution here with a little red food coloring in it, so it looks a little more like magma. And what we'll do is pour the vinegar the acid into the base, the baking soda, they will interact and react and release the carbon dioxide and you'll see the eruption. And that's pretty good. You can see this vigorous interaction between the base and the acid causes the release and the expansion and the, the change in pressure and the, the volume of gas increases and this thing just kind of blows up. If you pour more in, you'll continue to get the reaction because we're adding more acid. As the two acid and base interact, they become neutral to one another, and at that point, the reaction stops. They reach chemical equilibrium, and then the reaction is over. In nature, volcanoes erupt until the pressure on the system decreases to the point where gas stops coming out of the system. At that point, the, the eruption stops. So in a nutshell, this is the one of the safest and most classic ways you can make something erupt in the kitchen. Here in recent years, one of the coolest examples of an eruption that you can do in your kitchen or outside in the backyard is to add Mentos candies to Diet Coke. And the reaction between the carbonated gas in the Diet Coke and the texture and the makeup of the outside of the Mentos candy 
causes a rapid release or decarbonation of the soda. And what you get is a spectacular eruption.